think uh, uh, this is uh, in fact what I would like to, to start out with, uh, uh, just to give you an idea of the broader perspective that I see, that we have really concrete, uh, difficult questions also to face, um, and uh, that I'm looking forward, of course, uh, to have. To, to try, uh, I'll try to an answer your questions, but I'm also looking forward to having a good conversation with you in the coming years. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, so we'll go to the question and answer session. So I'll just try to keep track of who puts their hand up. We'll start over here. And if you could just give your name and your media and introduce yourself, then we'll take it from there. And do you have a pencil? Yes, of course. <coughs> yeah. yeah. My name is Michelle Rasmussen. I work with the Executive Intelligence Review from Washington. And I have a question regarding relations with Russia and China. There's a new Economic Development Alliance paradigm which in is increasingly defining world uh, economic policy. It was promoted by our editors, LaRouche, and it's being led by the China Built and Road Infrastructure initiative in close collaboration <coughs> with Russia, the BRICS, and 70 countries. So you said before that Denmark should follow US policy. And now there is a chance that the United States will actually join this new paradigm where Trump uh, pl pledged to normalize relations with Russia to have economic cooperation and to fight IS and started with his phone call to Putin, so will you do the same? And secondly, Denmark has a strategic partnership with China and is a member of the AIIB. Will you work towards having Denmark bring the new Silk Road to the Nordic countries and to Western Europe? Well, <laughs> um, what I can say is that we will follow uh, a I once said that uh, Danish foreign policy was just a question of following US. What I meant was that as long as we share values with US and we are in a kind of brotherhood with US on political issues, of course we should, it's, it's, it's really important for Denmark it, it, and it's a good idea of uh, standing shoulder, by, uh, shoulder with US. I believe that that will also be what we see in the coming years. I still believe that even though we have a lot of discussions of what direction will the U.S. go in now we have a new president. On the other hand, of course, it's also important uh, in a family among sisters and uh, brothers that we are able to tell each other if we think that this is not going in the right direction. That was what I did uh, yesterday, a few days ago, when I, uh, according to the visa question uh, uh, on Twitter, that is the most important it seems to be kind of diplomacy right now. I would say <laughs> it was just a, just a joke. But uh, when I uh, <coughs> raised a hand or finger and said that uh, be careful now, it's really important that we stick to liberal values. That we, when we meet people, we meet them as individuals and not as groups, and so on. I think it's uh, it is in everybody's interest that we have a good relationship uh, with uh, Russia and with China and so on, and that could then follow up on concrete questions that I will not answer right now today. But but it's also, as I've heard and understood, um, uh, there, there are no ch uh, changes in the lines of, uh, well, the, the, the new ambassador of the UN from US said that it was important to stick to uh, sanction politics, that it was important that Russia lived up and, uh, and fulfilled uh, the Minsk agreements and so on. And I think that was really good and that was really clever and that was really nice to hear uh, that uh, that is the direction uh, on this question. So we have a dialogue with Russia and we stick to international rules and laws and we try to convince Russia that they should also fulfill the Minsk uh, agreement. I think that is what I have uh, to give you, and we could, uh, we could take it afterwards. What, what about China? China, exactly the same. We have. Uh, I hope. Uh, I think that I'm going to China in the end of March, uh, so I'm looking to forward to that visit. Uh, 